Patty with Little Red Southern Kitchen, and today we're having butterfly roast chicken. Some people call it spatchcock, but it's just butterfly. Now, I'm not good, I didn't show y'all how to do this because it was not an easy task for me, but I'm going to provide a link to John at Food Wishes. He shows you exactly how to spatchcock it. But anyway, going on from there, I've done it, and what I want to do is salt and pepper the insides, but I still have chicken on my hands, so Tony's going to reach his hand around here and sprinkle some around for me. He's so good at this. All right, great. Now, I'm going to turn it over. And I've already tucked the wings back. See, it's flat, all flat down. Now, what I'm going to do, wait, i got one more thing to do, is I want to take my hand and go up under the skin and loosen the skin up, because what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, compound butter mixture under there. Try and do it thighs and all too, so. Alright, now I'm going to dry him off with a paper towel. Him or her, I don't know which one it is. Alright, let me, um, Go wash my hands and then I'm set up to do the compound buddy. Butter. <laughs> Be right back. I'm going to make a compound butter mixture to put under the skin and on top of the skin. I've got a little bit short of a stick of butter and I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. Maybe half a teaspoon. Then I'm going to take some dehydrated onion. Oops. Oh Lord, today's <laughs> not my day. Garlic powder, some chives, some black pepper, and some salt. And I am using pink Himalayan salt. And just mix that up. Okay, now come over here to our little hen, or whatever this thing is. And you want to take some of it and put it in the thigh. In each of the thighs. I'm going to put it on one side of the breast, on the other side of the breast, and then take it and roll it around, and then take what's left, and give the old bird a good massage. Okay, let me go wash this mess off, then I'm going to come back with the veggies. Be right back. I'm ready. I'm back. Now, what you're going to do is, I've only, I'm just using what I have on hand. And I'm going to, I've washed and scrubbed these potatoes. And I'm going to quarter them. And put them around the chicken. Oops. Well, I'm out of, out, out of whack. I ain't remember how to do stuff. It's like my little dehydrated onion there. Whew. That was a lot of it, but oh well.
All right, next I'm going to take some baby carrots. Now, I'm not going to cut these up or anything. Oh, God, these ain't even open. Oh, get there. My hands are greasy. Okay, I'll put these around the chicken as well. I love carrots. Roasted carrots. Salt and pepper. A little bit of garlic powder. A little bit of chives. Now, I'm going to put this in the oven for about 45 minutes to an hour. And I'll bring it out whenever I stick a thermometer in it and read 165. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. I just got it out of the oven. It took approximately 45 minutes to cook. And I'm gonna grab up some of these veggies. That looks good. And I got some turnip greens over there to add to it. And then we're going to eat, so supper's ready. Y'all have a great night.